What's up, peers, and welcome to Bitcoin to the Max here on the World Crypto Network. You know that running a Bitcoin full node is everything in Bitcoin. Why? Only when using this piece of software uh, can you fully uh, set up your monetary rules according to your whim. And you can change whatever you would like in this open source piece of software. However, if you choose to run uh, the Bitcoin core implementation, which is part of the shelling point of Bitcoin, uh, then you can connect uh, to many, many other nodes on this network. And you yourself validate and verify if these individuals play according to your individual set of rules. If they do, perfect. They are your peers and you can communicate them uh, in the future and collaborate on building the sound money. However, if there are malicious actors, who there are many, uh, and they try to steal from you uh, either via inflation or by uh, uh, shifting the control of a UTXO, uh, which they do not have the private keys to, or some other ways of uh, breaking your individual set of rules, well, then you will realize this and you will ostracize these aggressors. You will throw them out of your network and making sure that you only cooperate with peers uh, that are on the same and equal footing as you are. So running a full node is important and you really, really should consider of not doing this for yourself. And there are many different ways that you can run this piece of software on any of your many pieces of hardware that you hopefully have to have at your disposal. Your main computer or your main laptop is of course one option. You're on this thing uh, almost every day anyhow, right? And it probably has enough computational power uh, to calculate and verify all uh, the blocks. However, it uh, might not have the 200 gigabytes of storage that is needed uh, for the blocks chain. Uh, so therefore, uh, their storage might be an issue. And uh, further, it is kind of tricky to have this main battle station running 24-7 because it's a general purpose device. It does a lot of different things uh, and it is uh, probably even too beefy and uh, consumes too many resources uh, for 24-7 use. Uh, so you might turn it off at night and this means that you have to catch up to the Bitcoin network uh, and then verify a bunch of blogs at once as soon as you go back online again. So not optimal. Uh, but on the plus side, you can program on it easily uh, because you are on this laptop anyway. And this is especially useful for uh, programmers and developers who actually want to use uh, the data that is on the blockchain. Uh, so it has pros and cons as with everything. Another really cool way that you can do uh, is run a Bitcoin full node on your phone. Yes, that is actually possible. Thanks to the amazing uh, Bitcoin Core developers uh, at Blockstream and especially Larry Nguyen, uh, who has programmed the AV Core client, can you have a fully verifying but a optionally pruned Bitcoin full node? Uh, so although you verify the entire blockchain, you do not store it on your local device. You could set that you only keep the last 500 megabytes or the last gigabyte of uh, blockchain data on your phone, but you still have to verify all the blocks, which is of course good at the entire point. Uh, so of course the pros are, it's cool, it's cool as hell. And this gives you a bunch of bragging rights on carrying your financial self-sovereignty literally in your pocket. Uh, so definitely worth uh, checking out. However, um, first of all, it's resource intensive, this program. So it will consume uh, a lot uh, of your uh, RAM and CPU power and further a lot of your battery actually. So uh, this is something to consider. And of course, your phone will not always be in Wi-Fi range uh, because you do communicate a lot with the network and uh, the connection to the internet will be uh, one key point. Uh, so on your phone, although it's cool as hell, probably not as useful. And then something that you of course know here at the World Crypto Network is that you can run on a Raspberry Pi, um, a little $30 device uh, connected to a hard drive or SSD, uh, which would be even better, uh, solid state disks, um, can verify the blockchain much faster. 
Uh, and this means that you, that you have a really cheap device. I mean, this thing costs 30 bucks. Add a solid disk drive for another 50 or 100 bucks and you're good. Um, you could even, like the Raspberry Blitz, um, put in another uh, a display on top and uh, then interact with your Raspberry Pi node on the fly. You could also get uh, something like the Casa node, which is another uh, prepackaged node. Um, al although this is rather expensive for a Raspberry Pi with 300 bucks, um, you do get a nice white case, uh, I guess, uh, and uh, a companion app on your phone, uh, which can be quite useful, especially with key management. Uh, though I don't believe that you should have your keys here on this device. And of course, cool thing, this cheap, doesn't consume much resources, so you can easily run it 24-7. But big, big, big negative is that it does not have the computational power, which is especially tricky for the initial sync time, which on this device, now with block 570,000 or something, uh, will take you up to a month. Uh, so really not optimal. Uh, staying up to sync is really cool, and there are services like Casa that pre-sync the blockchain, 99% uh, of it. Uh, and uh, pre-verify it for you, which is cool, I guess, but kind of defeats the entire point of running a Bitcoin fully validating and verifying node. And I do believe that a nice a thing in between your main computer as your battle station and a Raspberry Pi is the nodal, uh, which you can get at nodal.it. And this is, well, basically a Raspberry Pi on steroids, literally. Uh, because it uh, has roughly the same size, it's a bit larger, uh, but it, it packs a punch, it really does. It has a Rock 64 board with four gigabytes of RAM. And alone this board uh, costs you, I think, 170 uh, euros, so it's rather expensive, especially compared to this little device, but it's absolutely worth it. Uh, because even, if, or further, when you connect it to a, a solid state disk, which you absolutely should do, you can have initial fully bl full block download and full verification in roughly 24 hours uh, if you have a decent internet connection. Uh, so that is beautiful. And staying up to date with that device is really no issue at all. Uh, so that is fantastic. And further, you can put a bunch of other stuff on this beefy hardware and actually still use it and not crash it like I've crashed this device so many times. So for example, and Kato Miner and a bunch of other developers are working on this, um, mainly Kato Miner though, uh, who has been on the WCN a couple times, so go back and check these videos. He has hacked the Bitcoin D, uh, so your normal Bitcoin full node, the LND client, uh, so you have your Lightning node enabled, just like Casa and uh, the Raspberry Blitz does, or you can have on this device anyhow as well. Um, but then further, and this is really cool, it has a full BTC pay server integration. So not only can you uh, verify the entire blockchain, run Lightning on top, you can also be your own payment processor, which is fantastic. By the way, 20, 20 euros of every uh, purchase of the Bitcoin full node goes to the developer team of the BTC pay server because they are just so freaking awesome. Okay, <laughs> and then further, you can on the nodal also, uh, for example, and this is really cool, and I'm really glad to announce this here for the first time, uh, because we now know that it actually works on mainnet, on the nodal device. You can connect to your SAP wallet, the most beautiful user interface that I have seen in Bitcoin, developed by Jack Mallers and uh, Pierce. Beautiful. Really, it is. And there is a bunch of stuff possible with Zap as your main user interface on your phone, uh, which is fantastic. Unfortunately, I have Android, so I couldn't get my, phone, uh, my hands on the phone version uh, of this wallet, but the desktop version is just as beautiful. And there are some cool things that you could do at the point of sale with such a beautiful interface. So absolutely stay tuned. Uh, there is a bunch of more stuff happening here. Uh, further, and this is also something that is working on mainnet on the real model device already, is the Jewel browser extension. Uh, so similar to the MetaMask plugin for Ethereum, but just much cooler with Bitcoin and the Lightning Network. So your browser actually uh, can, uh, can recognize when the website is requesting a Lightning Network payment, and it gives you a little pop-up, and you just click pay. And that's it. It uh, communicates with your noddle um, and actually then ma makes the payment completely trustlessly and authoritatively. 
You can also send some uh, maximum amounts up until that point. You do automatic payments and other cool stuff that this amazing browser extension actually can do. So this is just some of the really cool stuff that you can do with a Raspberry Pi on steroids, which is the novel. And uh, so this means Bitcoin Core client, Lightning Network with LND, uh, possibly see Lightning, although this is not yet working. Uh, then you can also have a BTC Pay server also working already today. You can have your SAB wallet as your, uh, your main terminal and access point to this thing. You can have your dual brow browser extension plugin uh, with a one-click integration because all you get uh, is the hardware. Uh, which you could buy yourself or you can get for novel, uh, from novel.it slash novel. Mm -hmm. And then you can, with one click of a button, compile all the software from source and fully and authoritatively validate the entire Bitcoin blockchain, open up a couple payment channels, and maybe an autopilot if you so choose, and run all the other software that you think uh, might be useful for such a financial battle station. Uh, Pierce, this is why I am so excited for the nodal because there are so many opportunities and Lightning and Zap and Jewel are just the very beginning. Uh, and the final cherry on the top of the cake of the nodal is that we have a wrap. Yes, the crypto raptor himself has made this beautiful little jingle, which is hilarious and I've listened to a bunch of times already. Uh, so absolutely, Pierce, get your financial liberty in a box in the novel box. Pierce, thank you very much for joining me today here on the World Crypto Network for Bitcoin to the max. Here, a show that is sponsored by you, the peers and patrons of the network with at tallyco.in slash hillebrandmax. A uh, beautiful piece of software here. And uh, again, the nodal.it is a fantastic device with lots of potential. And I'm so much looking forward to continue uh, exploring where this uh, Raspberry Pi on steroids uh, can take us in the aspect of full and true financial self-sovereignty. See you in the next show and bye-bye.